So yeah guys, this video is a little bit late. Hey. <laughs> video today um in my defense I need some sleep I pulled all-nighters for like the past couple nights and I was so tired I had to get some sleep in plus I had crazy amount of meetings in the morning so all-nighters plus meetings so I had to sit through those meetings and I had my driver's test yesterday on Friday when I should have been like doing this or like uploading this I passed, by the way, so I can drive now. Whoop whoop! And today, when this is going up, is my birthday. So you know, it's been kind of a crazy week for me. I'm very sorry, but today, you know, this is kind of different. I don't usually do this. I'm doing like a face, like a talk, to talk, a heart to heart kind of thing about school. So yeah, let's. Let's just, let's just start. So, if you guys don't know, Girl Surrender has a Tumblr page, yes, a Tumblr and a YouTube page. And on a Tumblr page, you can access, like, advice, like, for advice, any time of the day, and we'll answer you as long as we're up. So, this one girl, she expressed her fears or whatnot about starting a new school with knowing no one at all. And you know, since you and I are seniors, I wanted to talk about that because we have a little bit of experience in that section. I first want to start by saying that change is not easy. I mean, middle school to high school is a huge jump and it's like a reality check because you're going into people who are about to graduate and start their life off by themselves. Like, no one wants to deal with little kids running around the place, acting immature, whatnot. But, yeah. <laughs> what I have to say is that, like, for me, I went to a school that was consecutive, so like they had elementary, middle, and high school all connected together. And I did not go to the elementary school or the middle school, so everyone already knew each other. They, most of them already knew each other from the start, and I'm just coming in from this other school, like everyone's like, who is this person? Or whatnot. And the way I got through that was by joining clubs and, you know, talking to people in the classrooms. Freshman year, I did not join any clubs, and I regret that. I wish I joined more clubs, so you guys should do that. When picking clubs, you should always pick something that you're interested in, inter, interested in. Wow, why did I struggle saying that? Um, <laughs> when picking clubs, you should pick a club that you're interested in, and not one that you see like cool people in or whatever. Whatever you like, join it. Doesn't matter how lame other people may think it is, because you're gonna find really cool people who like to do the exact same thing. Like, I'm in the drama club, and those people, they're your family. They have become my family and, like, my best friends. That's just how it works. You have to find people who fit to what you like. Does that make any sense? Does it? At the end of the day, all I'm saying is to be yourself. You're just coming into this place, you don't know anyone, and the best way to fit in is to be yourself because the people will gravitate to you. You're an amazing person and you'll find people who like you for who you are. And yeah guys, if you want tips about how to survive high school, I did that on my main channel. You guys should go watch it. They're really good tips. They're not basic tips that everyone else tells you or whatever. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below if you guys want me to talk to you. Just talk about anything. I don't care. I'll answer everything. And subscribe to this channel, my main channel, my music channel. And yeah, guys. Bye.